Now for our next question, we are going to again look at the effect of each transaction on the accounting equation, namely assets, liabilities and equity. Now this time round, we have a business known as Vishnu Trading and it is for a list of transactions for the month of May 20X3. So let's begin. Now on the May 1st, the owner Vishnu of this business Vishnu Trading purchased a motor van worth $65,000. Now so we know that the business have acquired a motor vehicle worth $65,000. So we shall now enter the motor vehicle account, record it as an increase of $65,000 in this asset. So it is a plus. Now how is it paid for? It is paid for a personal check of $45,000 was issued. Now the moment we see the word personal, it means it is contribution by the owner. So we record that as capital and we record that as an increase of equity for $45,000. Now, then we were told that with the remainder to be paid over 10 years. Paid to who? Obviously, it is paid to Heavy Vehicles Limited. So in the liability that now the business owe to this uh, business, Heavy Vehicles Limited, we need to record in an account for trade payable Specifically, heavy vehicles limited. The amount has increased in terms of liability $20,000. Now, if you look carefully across the uh, accounting equation, the left hand side of the equation, $65,000, it is equal to the right hand side of the equation, $20,000 plus $45,000. Now, now, let's move on to May the 4th. The business purchased $3,200 worth of goods from rate provider on credit. So goods are actually uh, inventory bought for the purpose of resale. So record that in the inventory account, in the asset, that there's an addition to this account to the asset amount of $3,200. Now how is it provided for? It is actually uh, purchased from rate provider on credit. So on the liabilities part, we will have to record the trade payable. Specifically, now it is rate provider. How much the liabilities has increased by the amount 3,200. In this as case, this transaction, the equity section, there is no effect because the owner does not come into the picture. Now let's go on to May 10. Now, May 10 is a very special case. Now, let's analyze the transaction. The business sold goods at $1,230 to Mama Shop on credit. So, let's recognize the sales of goods to Mama Shop. Now, when you sell goods, when a business sells goods to a customer on credit, uh, we have a trade receivable. That means the customer will need to pay us in the near future. So, that represents an asset trade receivable and it is due from Mama Shop. The amount is an increase of trade receivable, increase of asset, amount of 1,230. Now this increase of asset is due to a sales. Now sales revenue is an income and income increases equity. So now we go to the equity section. The account is known as sales revenue. So when we record the sales revenue, the equity will increase by the same amount of 1,230. So that's how we recognize the increase in equity due to the sales. Now let's analyze the second sentence of the May 10 transaction. Now we are told that the cost price of the goods that were sold away was $720. Now, the sale, the cost price that was of the goods that sold away means that your inventory for the goods that left your business, your inventory account must have reduced by this amount. So, record the asset reduction of $720. Now, at the same time, 
you actually incur an expense for selling the goods. All right. So this expense, although it increases, it actually reduces your equity. All expenses reduces equity. All right. So this expenses and account is named as cost of sales, and it reduces equity. So it is minus to the equity section of seven hundred and twenty dollars. Right. If you now analyze this transaction on May ten carefully, you realize that the total net assets of one two three zero minus seven two zero is equal to the net liabilities plus equity of one two three zero minus seven two zero. Right, giving you the same net amount. Now let's continue moving on to the May fifteen transaction. Now, looking at the May 15 transaction, the business return damage goods were 350 to rate provider. Now, recognize that earlier on, you actually the business actually purchased goods from or inventory from rate provider. But now there is a return of these purchases. So on the 15, let's record that the inventory has reduced by an amount of 350 dollars because you actually return inventory. Back to rate provider. Now earlier you also owe rate provider because you purchased the goods on credit. So now that you return three hundred and fifty dollars back of inventory back to rate provider, actually you owe rate provider lesser. So there's a reduction of liabilities. So go to the trade payable account for rate provider. Record the reduction of three hundred and fifty dollars. Right, and there is no effect on the equity because the owner is not involved. Now, on May 18, the business issue a check of two hundred eighty two thousand eight hundred and fifty dollars to pay the full amount owed to rate provider. So, on 18, all right, issue a check means that it is the cash a bank account. And there is a reduction because your asset cash at bank actually reduce uh, when you make a check payment to rate provider. The amount is $2,850. Now, and that means that your trade payable, the amount you pay, you owe rate provider also reduced by the same amount of $2,850 when you pay it. Now again, the owner is not involved, so no effect on the equity section. Let's go to May 20th. Now, Mama Shop returned goods with a selling price of $230. Alright, the cost price of the goods sold was $120. Let's handle the first sentence. Now remember, on the, on the earlier May, you actually sold goods to Mama Shop. Alright, so actually there was a sales. Now there is a sales return. Now, at the same time, earlier the customer mama shop owe you a certain sum of money that you record as a trade receivable. So now trade receivable, there is a reduction uh, that mama shop owe you because he re returned the shop returned goods back to you. All right, how much? They return two hundred and thirty dollars worth of goods. So trade receivable will reduce by two hundred and thirty dollars. Because they had two hundred thirty dollars less to pay you. Now, at the same time, we must record that there was a sales return. Now, sales return can be seen as a negative of the sales revenue. All right, so it will affect your equity by reducing uh, because like a negative income. So income will increase equity, but sales returns because it is a negative income, it will reduce equity. So you record in a sales returns account. Right, and it will reduce equity by the same amount of two hundred and thirty dollars. Right now, let's analyze May twenty transaction. The second sentence. Now we are told that the cost price of the goods sold was one hundred and twenty dollars. Now, when there is a sales return, we must also re remember that the inventory that the customer returned back to us actually increases our inventory account. So the asset inventory will increase the overall asset amount by how much? 
120 dollars. Alright. And earlier there was a cost of sales recorded. Now because of the returns of goods, okay, the cost of sales account will also be reduced. So the cost of sales account is reduced, but this time it in the reduction actually result that result in an increase of the equity. So equity will increase by the amount of $120. Alright, so please take note, the cost of sales account is not increased by $120. Actually, there was a reduction in the cost of sales. Alright, but because of the reduction, cost of sales and expense, when there is a reduction in the expense, your equity actually increases. Now let's move on to the last second transaction on the 24th. On the 24th, the business received a check of $1,000 from Mama Shop. Alright, so you receive a check, so the cash at bank account actually register an increase in the asset. Alright, so cash at bank increased $1,000 resulting that your asset also increased $1,000. Alright, but how, what other account is affected? Mama Shop was a trade receivable. So when trade receivable pays you, okay, of $1,000, actually the trade receivable as an asset reduces. So trade receivable mama shop actually reduced by the same amount of $1,000. So there's no effect on liability and no effect on equity. Now I forgot something that... Um, I forgot that the earlier inventory yeah, also had no effect. Okay, the earlier transaction on May 20th. Now let's move on to the next transaction, 27, the last transaction. On 27, we are told that Vishnu, who is the owner, not the business, huh? Vishnu, the owner, took $120 worth of inventory for his personal use. So actually, there was a drawings, okay, of goods. So inventory as an asset actually reduces by hundred and twenty dollars. Now, no effect on the liabilities because external parties are not involved, but the owner actually reduces his capital. Now, this reduction uh, is recorded in the drawings account as a debit, all right? But it reduces drawings. Ah, sorry, it increased the drawings which has a negative effect on equity. So drawings actually negatively affect equity. So equity will be used by the same amount of $120. And we are done. We have answered the question 5 completely.